This is also one of my many memories I can remember. Going back to the earliest memories of my childhood, my father. He was busy. He worked his job. But he had time for us. And even though my kid sister Kate was always preoccupied with her world and her love for herself, my father always found ways to bring her out of herself and show her she's one of us and loved. Dad, why are you smiling? You're not supposed to smile or talk when you're eating. <laughs> okay, that's a rule for children, not adults. Adults talk while eating. In fact, a lot of business deals are concluded during lunch. Mm -hmm. But I'm smiling for a very special reason. <laughs> Should we tell them? <laughs> okay, sure. Go ahead. Uh, Kate, Mike. Your mom has a very important announcement to make. Mm hmm Guess what? We have a surprise for you. Surprise? Yes. While you were still in school this morning, someone sneaked into the house. Who? Okay. <laughs> Your mom and I are going for a business trip. Mm -hmm. Who normally comes to look after you guys anytime she and I are not around? Wait a moment. Rama is here. <laughs> as ever. Look, can it see as if you've been eating up the whole food oh, in the it's, it's him, it's him, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she just growing tall. How are you children doing? Fine. Fine. Okay, now, I am here to take care of you while your parents go on a trip. My parents were traveling. That made me sad. But Grandma was around. That made me happy. Grandma Fina is the mother of my mother. She always comes around to stay with us whenever my parents travel together. is my grandson. Phil is my grandson's friend. Kate is my granddaughter. You, Phil's nanny, though you're grown up, you're still my child. So eat whatever I'm giving you and stop complaining. Huh? Okay, Grandma. Grandma, we all love you. Love you too. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Esther, please take the children to one of the rooms and Abigail, what is the matter? What is the matter? Talk to me. A truck fell off the bridge today uh -huh. at Ojeleba. I was watching it on the news at my friend's shop. What happened? The truck fell on a car. Okay. And when they showed the picture of the car, it was... It was Mike's daddy's car. Mm. The same car that was needed to take them to the airport. So, I, I tried calling his number. I called and called and he wasn't picking up. So, I called Mike's mommy's number and I called and, and she didn't pick up. After a while, a man picked up and he said he was a doctor at the emergency ward at the Keja General Hospital. 
that you love the phone and, and, and his wife and his driver were all dead. Nobody told us what happened to my parents. They did not tell us that day. We waited till the next day for my uncle to come and tell us. My grandma was sick in her room. Kate was dancing on the couch. She did not know what was going on. I knew something was wrong. But what it was, I didn't know exactly. I also did not know that my grandma was more than the soft mother hen we all thought she was. She was much more. But first, let us meet my Uncle Bath. I've only seen him two times in my life. Hey! Uh, don't play me while you... Which guy while you... Not, not play, I tell you, say this thing. I don't take out do training. Uh-huh. Who be this? Mm-hmm. Or you be tenant. Oh, so my brother has to make it pay me rent from henceforth. Bini dear. Tota nunu. You may say we lay down. Wait, 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 wait. Who, who you be, self? Who be this? Uh, yeah, uh, wait, uh, <coughs> move with the children, too. Okay, you know where they go happen, so? Uh, make one carry the dead bodies, go leg, go land, with him fellow dead body for much work. Yeah. All he made go dead there now. Go let go, go meet her. You hear me? I go call you back much later. Eh? Yeah? Uh -huh. uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, the children know. Mm -hmm. Listen to me and listen carefully. Make the children not know at all. Such news should be broken by the uncle. Somebody will be saying I'm blood. You hear me? No, let them know because. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'll be turning out to be so. See, if the children know, Piaka, not be only say I will give you or increase your rent, but I will also blast you with quick notice. When you hear me? When you, you hear me? Good. What's <laughs> happening? A millionaire like me is not meant for this kind of drink again. For this kind of richest, poor church rat again, I don't play a game. Hmm. Yeah. You want to drink? I don't want to finish now. You don't, don't you run. You don't make me hear. Yes. Hmm. Hey! How can you go? Use the eye of a millionaire to look at me. I beg, I beg, I beg. You want to drink? This is not the story, you may have to tell me. Oh, yes. Walk and chop. Mm -hmm. If you know walk, you know chop. <laughs> when you walk, you chop. When you walk, you chop. When you walk, you chop. Yeah. If you sleep, you sleep. If you sleep, you sleep. Nobody will tell you. Nobody will stop you. Tuesday, Wednesday, you they hustle every day. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you they hustle every day. Yes, sir. January, February, March, you they hustle every day. Uh, so, June, July, up to December, you they hustle every day. Uh, if you slow down, I your case, and you come frown, I your case. When you start, Mr. William was my friend. We did business together. He's so unfortunate that such a terrible thing could happen to such a kind man. 
The kids don't know anything yet. The kids don't know anything yet. I'll go check who's at the gate. Are you married? Yes, that's good. The kids are waiting for you. Waiting. Sure. Eh? Mm. Oh. Sure. So we leave on move through. So we leave move leave all this house for you. Hey. Okay. Hey. Hey. Eh? Eh? So sad. Uh, 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 so, uh, I hope we did not move for the children. Anyway, I don't ask you that before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, go bring the children for me. Let me break the news for them at once. Then, yeah. Mr. Bart, I think you should take the kids into another room and, you know, break the news to them gently. Let them understand that despite everything that happened, they still have a good uncle like you in their lives. Ruben, what? What call it? Says who? A woman like you who does not have a husband. And so therefore you will not know how we may do our thing. When you open the gate for me, I ask you that, where is your husband? Because you are too forward. You are the one that called to inform me that my Willie, my brother, is dead. Now your husband, I suppose, made that call not to you. Now, I've arrived. You are still the same person that opened the gate for me. <laughs> it goes to show that you don't have a husband. It's either you've pursued him, that is if you've not even killed him. Or rather, you don't have any husband at all. You go back. The next thing you tell me now is that uh, uh, I'm a single mother. So how would you understand how women do our thing? You go back. Uh, see. If I speed for ground here before the speed dry, go produce all the children. Will you remember when I? You know, come on. Go call it yaga yaga pari pari chichi. What call it? Nigga, 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 Really. Is it me you are saying good afternoon? Don't you know how many times will I tell you that when you see me, you tell me big boy, you put two for me? Say it! Megu. Vredo. Better. Good afternoon, sir. Please, are you on Kuba? Kuba, oh, 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 oh. Michael! You sabi grandma? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Now you don't grow like this, they query me. Mm -mm. You see, your father did not show you children to me very well because he was never proud to show me off to the family. What did I do? Oh, because I play my draft. Enjoy my ogogoro. Eh? Enjoy my life and small, small business I do. Especially. Correct route to go go away that they call monkey or they climb when they steady me. Eh? Hey. Hmm. Your father only gave me small money to do business or to start business twice. Because the money was poor, I chopped it off. So what did he do? He cut me off. Now he don't die. Is it not me, but low me? They quickly called first. Eh? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, children, I'm sorry, this is not how I'm supposed to break the news to you. But these things that the truth must be told. Your mama and your papa, they are all dead. I will. They died yesterday on their way to the airport. Hmm? A trailer loaded, fell off from a high flyover bridge and crushed them to death. 
It was even good Samaritans who were able to gather their bones and put their bones in two Ghana must go, which of course they have deposited in the mortuary. <sighs> it's sad news. I'm very sad, but this is why I am here. So right now, I'm your new father. I may be your papa right now. Something in the way he said it sparked the young fury in me. Here he was announcing that my parents were dead in the most disrespectful and unfeeling way ever. He sounded like he was laughing at them and happy that they were dead. Right there, all I saw was an enemy who had hurt my parents, or at least rejoiced that they were hurt. I reacted without looking back. Do you know me, CF? You will be the first person I will marry, the first lady I will marry once I got this house. Exactly. <laughs> hmm? Come. <laughs> were you here the other day when those children were beating me? When you were not here. You were not here because I did not see you. You smile when boss is talking to you. Don't worry, leave. We'll get to that later. Uh, you see her? Uh, I'm the owner of this house. I own the whole of this big edifice. Everything here. It used to belong to my uh, late brothers. That's Mr. Williams. But now it's mine. Eh? <laughs> and there you see, this is my personal assistant. So anything he says, he obey. You understand me? Okay. Uh, let's go. Come here, come here. <laughs> What's this one? Don't worry. Don't worry. She will be the first one that will devour in that my master bedroom tonight. Tonight I will become a devourer. Oh, twig here. The boss. Come here, come here, come. The boss. Hey, boo boo. The boss. The boss. The boss. Grandma here has invited us as late Mr. William business partners. We are not here to make troubles, but we've come to ask you what is going on. I'm also to ask you your plans towards your brother. Going on as how? Where? Who is she to ask what is going on? This is purely a family affair. And she's not a member of my family. She's just a mother to the wife of my brother. So who is she to talk? My kinsmen in the village and I are planning on what to do about the burial. So who is she to talk? Who is she to query? Listen, she must leave this house today today. Otherwise, otherwise. Mr. Bath. We recognize that this is a domestic affair. We are not here to make troubles. I will make trouble. Because for her to open her mouth and ask Piaka, it's an abomination. Mm -hmm. Listen, all this one said for another talk. Hey, Gaga, William said not even get enough money to bury her. What I'm planning to do now is to sell this house, sell most of his property, if not all, both developed and undeveloped. 
so that we can give him a fitting burial. Mr. Bart, you cannot do a thing like that. Shut up, you small boy. Says who? <laughs> This house is owned by my late brother Williams. The next of kin, of course, who is the wife is dead. Who is next? You see these happy, happy children. Who is the next of, of, of kin? By custom, they are still yet under age. So they cannot do anything. I will, I'm in charge not to do everything. Look at this one. Look at me very well. You're looking at me with much hate. And that is what you, your grandmother is teaching you. So after looking at me with much hate, what will you do? Nothing. You cannot do anything because right now I'm in charge. But don't worry. This Omotogbe, this Omotogbe is leaving tomorrow. What? Or whatever they call you. <laughs> you don't need to keep scaring and threatening the children. Permit me to live with them. You can have everything. But I'll be going down to the village to inform your kinsmen that you have taken over your lace brother's house. Rubunwen, what call him? You're all here. What do you know? Listen, let me tell you. My kinsmen in the village is totally aware of what is going on. And they are totally in support of what I'm doing. You think they don't know? Who be Williams? Who do be Williams? Who do Williams do for, 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 for village? Williams said not a good village. He doesn't take part in what is going on in the village. Building here and there, making the village right. So the king's men must, and they are totally in support of what I'm doing. But after all said and done, they said blood is thicker than water. They did the right duty must be done. So, me, Olorogu, Abawuruwuri, Kebele, Te, Patlomi, must give my brother a defeating burial. Otherwise, Ubuyele, Isakma, Na, Ante, Be, I shouldn't in the first place. My father's friends could not do much for us. My grandma went to the police. But Uncle Bart has the money now from my father's assets. He was able to convince them he's acting in our best interest. To save us from Uncle Bart's desperation, Grandma took me and Kate and left my father's house. Kate and I left comfort. We left food. We left everything about life as we have known it all our lives. It was time to learn new things, new ways. <laughs> See how we're managing. Yes, Grandma. That is why you must return to school. So that you will have jobs when you grow up. Oh, okay? Mama. You said there was no one. Yes. You see this bag of clothes? Your father bought them for me. Okay, okay, okay. 
let me just sell you see i've not sold anything when when i've sold then i have some money to buy something for you children to eat okay buy for your clothes okay buy for your girlfriend buy for your wife ah fine brother buy for your girlfriend now see now buy clothes ah baby girl buy for yourself now this is your size this is your size buy ah but hey okay i should come no 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 cross now cross you buy buy clothes buy buy That week, we measured for our new school uniform. And Kate and I went back to school. Grandma sold her wrap pass to make sure Kate and I went back to school. She did so many odd jobs to put food on our table. I watched her make all these sacrifices each day. And I vowed that someday, when I grow up and get a job, I'd never let her suffer or lack anything I can afford. You see so much trouble And you wonder if you're gonna handle So much things to do Don't even blame you No, no They feel you're never gonna make it But you work hard, replace it, erase it That's a miracle, I say I hope it won't fade, I pray No matter what you're going through just lift your head to the sky No matter what you're going through Just lift your head to the sky I say, I say, everything is gonna be alright Everything is gonna be alright I say, I say, everything is gonna be alright Everything is gonna be alright So let me hear you say, oh, 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 come, go, go Yes, Grandma. Good. Mm. It's a treat. This is crop science. I know it. We also do crop science in my school. They teach us about flower, how the bee will go and let the flower to come out. They teach us that too. 
Our schools are just the same in many things. What's the name of your teacher? Artemis. My teacher's name is Mr. Bidim. Kate is not in my school, she's in primary school. Her teacher's name is Mr. Sanusi. I knew you boys would be happy to see each other. <laughs> Thank God you don't have to go to school tomorrow so you can stay up all night. Grandma! What? what happened? Grandma, what happened? I was robbed. No, by some little boys. Pushed me down. Oh, my waist hurts. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, girl. I don't want anybody to hurt you. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Life is tough, my son. There will always be people that will hurt you. But there will also be people that will comfort you. Anytime they push you down, throw your hurt, you pick yourself back on your feet and move. Move. Oh, I'm sorry. Grandma, I'm sorry. Sorry, Thank Grandma. you, my daughter. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Thank you. Feel. Yeah. We'll get popcorn with your friend. Grandma will be fine. Let's go inside. I have a story that I'm about. Okay, dear. Thank you. Kate, hold the bag. Sorry. Let's go inside. Thank you. You'll be fine, okay? Boys, be careful! Anytime I go for an interview and meet those dog-faced interviewers like the ones I just left, I know they won't offer me the job. I mean, they keep asking me for work experience. If I had that experience, would I still be coming to them for work? Look, I get it, bro. But it's not the end of the world, okay? You've done this over and over again. I mean, someday it will all make sense. That's what I believe. So just, just calm down. Let's go home. I just want to be independent. I just want to be able to take care of my grandma and my sister, have a house of my own, make money of my own. I mean, I've depended on you for so long. You've been responsible for me all these years. I am not complaining. Am I complaining? I'm not complaining now, bro. You said me casa su casa, meaning my house is your house. Look, we've been through a lot together, right? Grandma, mom, C took me in. Your uncle kicked us out of the house. We went back to the street, but we survived. We survived. So if I got a job before you, it doesn't mean anything, bro. Like this is frustrating. You know that. For how long? I know. I, uh, Mike, I did not come here. I didn't come to pick you and listen to you lament and complain like this. I came to pick you to go home and relax. Let's go and have a drink. Let's go and relax. Oh, no, I'm here you day now. If I have a job, you have a job. I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll be there for you. If you have a job, you'll do the same for me. That's why we're brothers. You get what I mean? So just chill. Just calm down. Let's just go home. We will be all right. We have survived worse, bro. Just calm down. Nigeria, that you get everything for free. Please tell me. Answer me. And you think you have a say of a friendship of two friends that have been friends before we came into the picture? Whatever Fields does for his brother is none of our business. Yes. Madam, what do I expect you to say? What do I expect you to say? When you are benefiting from this, your boyfriend has nothing. Absolutely 
Nothing. He's dependent on my boyfriend. That means you are benefiting from the benefiter. So please shut up your crazy poverty mouth. Everything I'm me. Crazy poverty mouth. I'm me. Yes. How could I talk for your front door? I know talk can be telling you. I know talk out for your back. For your face, I did talk out. Now for your front, I talk out. What do you want to do? You know if you do me anything. Now for your face, I talk out. Leave us now. You found no, the only crazy poverty mouth you have. Your sense is crazy. Oh if we should leave us now, let us enjoy ourselves. Leave me now. Let me enjoy my boyfriend. You can go and stay with your boyfriend's grandmother. He said that shit hole. What did I even say again? You know, little beginnings, going with your boyfriend. Cool now, go and start so that he will respect you as a woman. Stop leeching on us. It is tiring. I don't tire. So all this is because of toothpaste. Come on, toothpaste. Come on. Oh God. This toothpaste is so ordinary, but your boyfriend cannot afford this. Abi, it is ordinary, but you cannot afford this. This is how you know poor girls from poor homes. Yes, because they drag about everything. Everything! Ah! So you know, if toothpaste is your problem, come to my parents' house and I will drown you in a sea of toothpaste. Mm. Yes! Since that is the problem you have. You rubbish. Don't drown me in a sea of toothpaste. Let me drown you! Nonsense! Your parents have so much money, Abby! Your parents have so much money that you cannot carry your poverty stricken boyfriend to your parents' house and alleviate him. I deserve my dignity in this life since I've been dating you. I deserve my respect. Yes. Did you get the job? What is wrong with you? Cynthia, what is wrong with you? We could hear you screaming from outside, yelling on the top of your voices. What is wrong with you? Just in case you didn't get the memo, Mike is more than a friend to me. He has been a brother's keeper for as long as I can remember. You need to respect that. I never want to hear this thing again. Let nothing like this happen again. Cynthia, do you know what we've been through as friends? For your information, Mike is not squatting. He has every right in this house as everyone else. For all I care is you girlfriends that are squatting here. Please, let this never, ever happen again, okay? I hear you. Good. Unfortunately, I disagree with you. Look, we all know who is being abused here. And that person is not Mike. So as long as my boyfriend He's the one putting the bills in this house. Sarah must respect me. 
After all, they say the woman in the house is the owner of the house. Nobody in this house can touch my pot. So Sarah needs to respect me. Period. Are you asking for a breakup right now? <laughs> breakup? For what now? Over what? <laughs> no. Cynthia, don't push me. Someday everything will be all right. Everything will be fine. We'll have our own house, our own cars, our own things, our own job, our own business. I believe in you, Mike. I would have left you all those years. I met you as a job hunting guy. And I am still here with you. You are still a job hunting guy. That is faith. And I will never betray the faith you have in me. May a day like that never come. Hold me. Someday. When your money comes, I want a wedding that will be talk of town. You invite all your friends. You invite Phil and Cynthia. She'll be at my wedding reception drinking my wine. But to make her pudge. Oh no. Oh yes. Yes. That girl is evil. Phil is such a nice guy. I don't know what he's doing with, with such an evil person. Do you know whenever I, I go to the pot to eat, she counts the meat to know how many of her boyfriend's meat I've eaten. It's okay. Ignore her. Just ignore her, okay? When I hit it big, I'm going to give you the life you deserve. I will make up for all the pain and everything you endured while dating a girl. Oh baby, I want you more, more of you every night and day. See, I want you more, more of you every night and day. See, baby, I want you more, more of you every night and day. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? You're not cooking too much because I intend for that gas to last throughout the weekend. Oh, nah. I'm just frying some plantain. Anyway, where is everybody? I knocked and no one answered, but the door was also unlocked. So I just came straight to the kitchen to cook what I bought because I was so famished. Wow. Next time when you knock, you wait until someone gets to the door. Even if the door is wide ajar, you wait. Because that's what you're being taught in school, right? <laughs> what 
was that? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey. My brother, my brother. Welcome home. Where have you been? I've been here all evening. Kate, please. Always tell me before you come to this place. Why? Do I now need permission before coming to my brother's own place? This is not my place. I don't get it, bro. Since when did you and Phil start discriminating which place is yours and which is his? Okay. Is that bitch Phil is dating, right? Oh yes, wait. Does she even know that Phil is only dating her because I refuse to date her? Can you just lower your voice? Before they hear you now and you cause problems between them. Has it gotten to this? <coughs> and Phil allows it. Bro, bro, like really, do you now understand why I, I refuse to date him? Phil is a fool. Hey, it's enough. Phil is a great guy. He's not the problem here. Ah! Phil is not a great guy. He is the problem. A great guy will not allow a woman make him weak and then pull him all over the place by the nose. Cynthia does not drag him by the nose. Enough! Kate, we have not even said hello. <laughs> My dear, I'm so sorry. How are you, Sarah? I'm okay. Seriously, you don't look okay. You look really drained. It must be Cynthia the devil. Anyway, listen. All you have to do, yeah? Just say the word. And I will snatch Phil from here, date him until he finds a good woman, then I dump him on her laps. Yes, you people, you know me. I don't have time for all these relationship issues. I just... You know, I'm, I care about my work, my career, my education, that's it. How is grandma? When was the last time you heard from her or saw her? Why don't you try visiting her yourself? Because she has been complaining that the whole of last week, you never visited. And this is a new week. Oh, wait, though. Sarah, are you responsible for that? Hmm? No, my sister, listen. I hate girls that try to lead guys away from the people that matter to them the most. Kate, he is here. You can ask him for yourself. He said he wants to visit her when he gets a job and ask things to give her. Look at him. You can ask him for Sarah, yourself. She's getting old. When do I get to repay her for everything she has done? When do I get to thank her? I know I get to thank her for everything he done. Just visit. That's the most important thing. Anyway, I fried plantain. Sam is in the kitchen. No, 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 I'm joking. <laughs> Let me get it, please. Hold on. Oh, you said you prepared plantain. Yeah, in the first. kitchen, not this one. I asked for it. Uh, but at least let's get the taste of it. Hold on now. No, you have to. Grandma. She don't have sense. Oh, Lord Polo. We didn't be calling another person's grandma your grandma. <laughs> Babe, you you do know that you can come with us. It's not too late. We can wait for you to get dressed and and come along. Wow. Me, I'm not confused like some people. I know where my grandma lives. If I want to go and visit her, I know where and how to get there. Thank you very much. Why are you so divisive? Why are you so foolishly accommodating? Yes, walk away. Walk away. 
that is how we'll get married tomorrow, dear. And then we'll be calling you our husband, our husband, and you'll be calling them our wife, our wife. No, we want to sleep in the night. I'll come and sleep in one corner of the bed. You come and sleep between like this. Village people will take the other side. Father's people will take the other side. Mother's side will take the other side. Then the general public will come and take all this side. It's not bad enough that you are using our money to give the whole world. Because now you could pass. You want to carry good man's award. Oh yeah, now carry him now. Now you could pass, Abby. I am a woman in this house that if you cannot sit down, I'll show you what you are doing wrong. It is wrong. Allow me some. Ah, what you are doing is wrong. I'm telling you, no listen now. It's as if what I say, my mouth is smelling. Do you know this is the first time I'm actually sitting in your car since you bought it? Mm. Eh? You will not even say my sister. I'm coming to campus to pick you up. Or I'm coming during the weekend so that we'll drive you around. Nothing of that sort. Is that how a brother behaves? When did I get this car? Is it no less than two months? Don't worry now, it's not to drive car. You'll be tired. My darling, my car is your car. You'll get tired. Please don't call me your darling. I am not your darling. We all know who your darling is. Oh. The insecure one. Ouch. Okay. But uh, you know that my heart has always been with you. You are the love of my life. I've always said this thing. You know, but you just you just think I'm playing, man. And, and it breaks my heart. Coming from a guy who just, who is sleeping with another girl under the same roof I slept in last night. Anyways. I kept doing it and I will keep doing it and I've always said it. It's you that just keep denying me and, and you know finding excuses. And Mike will just be there, he will not say anything. You know, Mike knows the truth. He knows that my heart is with you. He knows that I'm into you. He knows that I love you. But you will be giving me scope. Hey, my, you're my brother. You're like his sister. I'm like his sister to you. I don't know who sister, who brother, hey, when we know that it's not true per se. And Mike is there. He's going to be quiet. He won't say anything. And he knows what it is. I'm not even going to talk to both of you. You're toasting my sister in my presence. And continue until you hear it blow to your face. Poor, poor. <laughs> you go <won't> understand. <laughs> you know, each time I pass this road, I remember my father, my mother, and our former home. Why? Can you see daddy's house from here? I can't see it, but that's the street and it's just down the end. Someday I'll go take a look. And why would you do that? Uncle has sold that house a very long time. So why would you want to go to the house? So that you get broken heart again. Please. Go fast. Mm. Life. Uh, feel. Hi. Grandma, grandma. Thank you, my grandma. <laughs> Grandma, Grandma, always giving us granuts. <laughs> this is my special gift to the people I love specially. When we were children, the white woman that taught us health science told us that not makes your mood a happy one and your age a young one. Grandma, we've heard that story. <laughs> 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 you children know me so well. Well, oh, Grandma, do you know how long we've heard that story? All our lives, like a million times. The good old days. <coughs> Are you okay, Grandma? Yeah. Phil, <laughs> you don't come around any longer as you used to see me. Um, Actually, work is very hectic, Grandma. <laughs> You know it is now banking. It's not. It's not one of those easy things to do. But every time Mike comes here, I always tell him to send my. I always send my love through him. I always make sure he 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 checks on you. And I, you know, I send kisses through Mike every time. I know. He always says you ask after me. I do, Grandma. But it's not a seeing you physically. I know. I know. It gives me joy to see that you are doing well, my son. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> <coughs> Grandma. Sorry, Grandma. What's with this cup? Are you sure you don't need any medical attention? No, I'll be sure. It's old age. Please. Mm. There is nothing wrong with it. Old people cough. They cough. She is correct. <coughs> Grandma, this is. Let me get you some water. Let me get some water. <coughs> Guys, as I was saying, dancing is all about flexibility. 
you need how to know how to move your body make use of your space you need to enjoy what you're doing for someone to enjoy you you understand i don't want to talk plenty chica you want to show me some moves show me what you got wow Hey. 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 H
down to the toothpaste and comb and hairbrush and powder. Everything I use is my friends. His body cream, his everything. I don't have anything. I'm begging you. That's how desperately I need this job, please. See, getting a job is no charity. And almost all the people we interviewed today has a similar story, if not worse. So, and do you know you did not answer your questions very well? That was because I was tensed. That is oh, not Jesus. me. But I'm telling you, I know my capabilities, madam. Please. I'm begging you, please. I'm sorry I can't help you. We've given the job to the guy that answered the question the most brilliant way. Talk is cheap. He might have answered the brightest question, but he would not know how to do the work. That I failed the interview doesn't mean I, I would not be able to do it practically. He's just like our politicians that have all the words to say during campaign, but cannot execute anything. Please give me this work, I promise you. Madam, see, madam. Just stay back at the hostel. Mm -hmm. I told you this is not my house. You can't keep coming here every weekend. You know we're trying not to hit things up, especially with someone like Cynthia. You know the kind of person Cynthia is. Ha! A good person. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, babe. Hey. Babe, huh? there's something I need to tell you. Right here. Are you planning to break up with me? Why would you want to tell me something in public? Baby, this is not public. This is family. Except you, I beg you. See, Brother Mike, Grandmom is in the hospital. What? Yes. We need to stop hiding this from him and stop petting him, waiting for your girlfriend to come and tell you herself. Are you not a man? Ah, ah you can take it, even if she's dying. What nonsense are you talking about? Can you stop? Um, babe, you need to calm down, okay? Grandma is really sick and she has chronic pneumonia. And at her age, is really, really bad. That's why we all came together, so we could break this sad news to you, knowing how close you both are. Invasive pneumococcal disease. That is what it is. Are you joking or what? Why, why are you... Bro, um, so I've been paying the hospital bills. But now they say that uh, they said it's uh, now it's about thirty million naira. That's a guinea. It's worse. It's actually it was a wrong diagnosis. It's, it's actually lung cancer, and I I don't I don't have that kind of money. You had better not. Thank you. Whatever. The weeping man. Caesar. <laughs> Baby, do you want some vegetable soup? You see your meaning? Seafood. Vegetable soup. The shrimps inside it with shaki. And come on. Come on. You must give me that money. What, like, what do you mean, sir? Eh? What do you think I'm doing like this? After everything, I'm After everything. My, 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 my father did. This is. 
you will pay me. 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 I'm the old man, Michael. <laughs> leave me because if you call me now, you go kill white coat. You leave me. You kill this man. Please. You kill him, young man. <laughs> Uncle, you sold my father's house. What did you do with the money? Did you eat all of them? Is, is there none of it left? I I, do you know that someday I'll, I'll grow up and become somebody? I marry plenty of women. All of them don't run, leave me. Can, can you imagine what this man is saying? <laughs> Did you hear what this man is saying? Please. Uncle, where, where is the remainder of the money? Any, anything left? Don't you have at least one million? Hey, Tivo. 500,000. Tivo, yeah, I get one million, 500,000, I don't like this. Give me my money, man! Give me my money, man! Please, please, please. You will die, you will die here, please. Please, 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 please. You see this man? For everything you have done to me and my family, my sister, my grandma, you will suffer in this life. <laughs> you don't go. You don't go. Go pay the expectation when they inside, make I continue. You love it, love it. My name is Mike Alfreds. Okay. I used to live here. My father used to own this house before my uncle sold it. Okay. Nothing serious. I just came to look around. I missed the place, so I came to see the compound and see the people living there. There's this aloe vera that was behind the house. Is it still there? It's oh, still there. now they're back. Yes. Ah, they don't cut them. Ah, ah. They don't cut them. How about the coconut tree? <laughs> Bros, that one don't grow past the house. We don't even the money safe, say how you go take me. Eh, on a letter they come every day. Oh no, no, I see I will not find your number tire. They send letters to me here every yes. month. Can I come in and see them? Mm. Oh yeah. Make I tell madam. Marco. Mm, come. come. Thank you. Okay. Even they see that coconut bag, you don't like that. Here are all the letters you have been receiving in this house, but we kept them. My husband tried to reach out to the man that sold this house to us many years ago. Well, he asked us to burn the papers, but we kept them. Eh? Thank you. They are all addressed to Mr. Afrin. <sighs> Thank you very much, ma. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. I'll be on my way now. Yeah. Baba, show him out. Eh? No, don't fly fence. Thank you.
Look, you will not sell your car to pay that bill. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? I've told you before I'm going to sell that car as long as it can support what we are doing. I will do it and you cannot stop me. Really? Yes. <laughs> I can't stop you. You can't stop me. I can't stop you. You can't. Watch me. As a matter of fact, because you're so stubborn and stupid, I'm leaving you. I'm done with you. Fine. Fine. It is fine. It's okay. Tonight, right? You're leaving me tonight, right? No, 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 no. Okay, I am leaving you. Fine. Sorry, Enough I... of the threats. You can go ahead. You don't give me life. You don't give me oxygen. Go, please pack your things. See this thing that I'll be managing. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Can never be because I've been kind to family? Please. Really? Please. Whatever. Whatever. You done, you know, sucking up to your bullshit. I'm standing here. Please, what happened here? Yeah, whatever. Get out. Get lost. Need a real man in my life. Since I turned 18, you've been sending me such letters. My uncle. <sighs> the least you can do is to order me a taxi to take me home. I thought as much. I've been with less than a man all this while. Good riddance. My uncle knew about it, but he kept quiet. And I've been here suffering all these years, not knowing my father had made such plans for me in fixed deposit. The total money plus interest accrued over the years about 29,356,017 kobo. Approximately the amount I need for grandma's bill. <laughs> Isn't God an awesome God? Oh, okay, okay. Wait, this is this is unbelievable. As 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 much as it's overwhelming to to hear your father left so much money for you and you didn't know about it i had no clue i thought god was waiting for this to come up and I, god's just awesome bro oh, that's that's 30 million naira exactly that's what i need for grandma's bill like god was waiting for this time to come and i don't know how this just worked out i i, I don't know how to process this information mike i am what? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You must be out of your mind. You have been suffering since, and now you have the money to spend it on the health of an old woman and throw it back to square one. No! Never! Never! Eh? Don't I have mouth? Eh? Don't I have mouth to eat money? Or oh, when you go so on, so on, but I need to eat this money. I need to enjoy it. Ah. My grandmother will die. Then let her die. Yes. Let her die. She's an old woman. She has lived her life. She has enjoyed everything in this world. We need to enjoy our lives. We need to enjoy this money, Mike. Eh? We need to enjoy our lives, please. Mike, please. This is unfair. I beg you. I beg you, Mike. Let's enjoy this Shh. life. Shut up. Hmm? Oh, yeah. My baby, you fine. Oh, yeah. I never see a girl like this before. Oh, yeah. My baby, you fine. Oh, yeah. I never see a girl like this before. Yeah, baby, dance ya, dance ya, dance ya for me. Oh, honey, yeah, my baby, dance ya.
They make it my body sweet though, my body sweet though. You too sharp, okay? Baby girl, I run with you, I run with you, welly welly. Uh, see everything I want to do, I do with you, welly welly. Let me tell you something, something, something. Uh, be money, uh, give me money. Yeah. Baby girl, got me wanting, uh, wanting, wanting. Uh, be Spending the money already? No. So Skaten feels like they say there's no point, that one has to have fun. Problems will always be there. At least we remember we had fun. Yes, yes, I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake. What am I doing in your bed? What have we done? Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, what does that mean? <sighs> if I was drunk, are you not supposed to be sober? Are you not? <sighs> oh, my brother is going to kill me. You know what? <sighs> Please, close your eyes. I want to get up. I okay. want to get dressed. Kate, 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 Kate. Look, I've broken up with Cynthia, so I am good. And, and let's stop denying the obvious fact, okay? Then what is the obvious fact? That I like you and you like me and eh? we want to be together. You are in that alone. Do you understand me? I do not know what you're talking about. Can you please just close your eyes so that I get dressed? Close your eyes. And if I, as much as see one of your eyes peeping whilst I'm getting dressed, I'll bust it for you. the sad face. See, you're a millionaire now, so you need to start acting as one. Hmm? Cheer up. I need to take care of grandma's beer. Hmm. I won't be doing my shopping here in Nigeria. I'll be going to Dubai. Oh, God. <laughs> We're not going to be having any wedding soon. I told you now that we need to take care of grandma's hospital bill. Our wedding is going to be big. My friends will know why I have to wait this long. It's going to be the talk of town. People will be talking about Can you way. just stop? Stop, Sarah. You know grandma needs to be taken care of. And you know I'll do anything in this world to keep her alive. 
Wait. Are you okay? Are you mad? So wait, you're telling me you want to squander the whole money on, on an old man's health? After all we have been through together, no, huh? It will not happen. Sarah, this is my grandmother we're talking about. And this is my marriage I'm talking about here. Why do you act like you don't know what she's been through to keep my sister and I going? We, we can't just do this to her, please. You hey. know she means a lot to my sister and I. And I mean nothing to you, right? I mean nothing. Okay. Stop putting it like that now. You know that's not the way it is. Stop, stop it. Just try and understand me. No, no, no. Stop now. Just try and understand me. I am... I want to go to Dubai. I want to shop in Dubai, baby. Can I have this money and let my grandmother die? It would be unheard of. Please. Baby, don't you like shopping in Dubai? Hmm? I do, but... It depends on who is paying. My son, doesn't he want to come and see me? Mama, he wants to be here, but he's heartbroken and doesn't want to see you like this. He should come. It's not anyone's fault. Mama, I have come to beg you. Please, don't let Mike throw our lives away like that. Mm. See, Mama. We just discovered his father left him some money. 30 million naira. The same money they need to pay for your surgery. Mama, I don't know how to say this. But please, if he spends this money on you, we'll have nothing. Nothing at all. Mama, do you know what? Tell them to discharge you. Mm -hmm. huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let them discharge you. We'll rent a place. We'll take you home. And we're going to take good care of you. Till I die. Ah, Mama, he won't die, you. Mama, he won't die. I want to give you great grandchildren. Is that not what you want? Eh? Or do you want Mike to be a rolling stone all over town when he spends the money on you? Mama, my life is in your hands, so. Oh. Eh? You have to do this, so oh. my life is in your hands. Ha. Huh. Mama. Sarah. <coughs> what are you doing here? Mama, what did she say to you? What did she tell you, Mama? She, she told me you got some money. And she wants it for her wedding and investments. And not for my treatment. Mm -hmm. I'm going to kill that girl. You can do a thing like this. You can actually do a thing like this, eh? Somebody will see you and think eyes cannot melt in your mouth, but you will eat a bone and swallow it. I am fighting for my life. I am fighting for my happiness. I am fighting for the man I love. No! You are fighting against the one the person you claim to love loves. If you love me, you love the people I love. If you value me, you will value the people I value. Are you stupid? You cannot understand it. I need to save you from yourself. I can be realistic when you're not in reality. That is love. Are you so foolish that you can't understand that? Are you so blinded by your emotions that you can't see that? You're not talking to me like this. I need to shock you back to your senses. How can you throw our lives away? Mike, she's an old woman. She has lived a life. How can we become grandparents if, if we can't live our lives? And lest I forget, if I'm in her shoes, I won't let my grandchildren die for me. Never. I won't do that. You see you. You see this, this nonsense you're uttering? You see this, this nonsense you're uttering with your mouth, eh? You see this thing you're saying? You see you? You come and face me. You. 
Gentlemen, this is a very serious issue. It is spreading really fast. It is invasive. We need to act as fast as possible. Okay, doctor, we'll, 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 we'll get the money. How much time do we have? I mean, we have like yesterday, like today, like now, now. Every delay reduces our chances of getting better. We need to act fast as possible, right on time. The clock is ticking. We'll get the money. We'll get the money, right? Yeah. We'll run. We'll get the money. Don't worry, P. Doctor says you'll be fine. You'll be very well and get back to your feet, okay? I know, my son. I know I will be fine. Yes, Mama. You'll be fine and get back to your feet strong. Everything will be fine. Why? Don't you need money? For what? Do you know how I've been managing in school? Are you aware that my final year courses have not been registered simply because there is not enough money? Do you know how I have been begging your friend, shamefully behind your back, to give me money and even the, the little that he manages to give me does not even last me for a week in school? To pay for my books, my practicals, etc. I'm surprised at you, kid. I thought you would be on grandma's oh, side. Oh, please. I am not an emotional fool like you. I am not. We have all endured, brother. We have prayed for a miracle. Now that a miracle is here, what do you want to do? Take us back to hell? Hell no. You better don't try that with me. Because if you spend that money on grandma's health, I promise you, I am going to stand by the roadside and I will do a shower. What? God forbid. No! God will not forbid anything, Philip. Listen, I know you are ready to help me, okay? But I do not want to be with you simply because, you know, I'm indebted to you. I want to be with you because I like you. I love you. That's why I will want to be with you. Brother, I am warning you as my big brother. If you dare spend that money on grandma's help, I will turn into a harlot. If I don't, call me a mad woman. And to you, you better stop running away from here because you haven't done anything wrong. I'm not violent. And you people will not make me be. Brother, nobody is on your side. No one. So you better go to the bank tomorrow. Withdraw that money and receive some sense. Receive some sense. Okay, I, I am on his side. <laughs> I'm not surprised. You see, this is the reason why I refuse to date you. You are just one confused guy. You do not know what you want. Okay, listen. Yeah. When I say I'm on his side, I don't mean like I'm completely on the side, but I'm on his side. Think about it now. We are talking about somebody's health. Not just somebody. Grandma's health. That's the person that has been there for you and Mike for, for, for all these years. All I'm saying is let's be compassionate. Let's be, let's be considerate. Let's even show some support. That's all I'm saying. You are not saying anything. You are just sitting on the fence. You need to take a stand. Are you going to support him to use the money on grandma's health or not? Which is which? Choose your side. Choose! Why is she running? Well, bro, what, 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 what she was saying was, was the truth. I mean, 
Is it that they don't understand that grandma's life is at stake? I'm sure they understand, which is why I, I, I'm saying that somehow we need to find a balance with this money. How can you balance money? Is it that we're paying for our bills or we're not? Okay, then we pay for the bills and then she dies and I mean, Grandma is aged. All I'm, we just need to find a balance. That's all I'm saying. Why are you just blabbing? You just told me you were on that side. What is this? Grandma's age, she dies. We pay for what is that? slept on this and now I know I need a break. I want to break up from this relationship. You're kidding me, right? No, I am not. This is a sensible thing for me to do. Yes. I can't stop you from taking care of your grandmother. Let me go. We are not meant for each other. Don't write me off, Sarah. I can pay my grandma's bill with that money and get a good job tomorrow. You know how God works. Yes, I know. And from my heart, I wish you well. But let the girl you'll be dating at that time enjoy everything. We are not meant for each other. Sarah, why are you making things difficult for me? Why are you making this very difficult for both of us? I'll be packing my things. So you... You wake me up 5 a.m. in the morning to tell me this. <laughs> you need someone to talk to you, Sarah. To talk some sense into you. She came back last night and and she was crying and, and we cuddled. I, I I couldn't resist. I mean, I was weak. Mike, you know, you know I've always liked your sister. No, oh, right? please, please. Can you please just tell my brother how you promised to pay my bills? Tell him. Tell him how easy it is for me to get men to pay my bills. I know what to do, and I'm not stopping with him. You. You, my brother, you are going to hear my story in this town. You will hear my story in this town and people you know will come and tell you my story. Have a good morning. Don't pay attention to whatever your sister is saying. You just ignore, ignore what she's saying. I have always been in love with your sister. You know this. And I want to marry her. I'm, I'm not messing around. After I am done servicing every man in this town. No, my darling. You will not want to marry me. You better tell your friend to do the right thing. Yeah, my guy, I... I think you should listen to what everyone is saying about the money. Instead of burning it on this, I think you should just you keep it because it, it can solve other problems and... and Mike! Instead of burning this money... Mike! I'm all packed up. Come and lock the door. I'm leaving. Uh, which kind of Allah be this? Packed up to where, Sarah? Packed up to where? We are trying to sort out this same problem. Can you just calm down? Please take your bag back into the house. <laughs> hey, hey, Sarah, hey. You just return your things back into the house. I don't know where you're... Is it not going to say anything? Nobody saw her when she left. Was she kidnapped? You mean to tell me that the patient will just walk out of the hospital and nobody sees her leave? 
Is that the kind of thing people are doing in this hospital now? Doctor, the security man said he saw her leaving very late at night. So he asked her and she told him that the hospital bill is piling up and that will be a burden to her children. She doesn't want that. That's why she left. She needs to be on her medication as at when due. Her BP is very high. That's why we placed her on those medications. Any delay can be fatal. We need to have her in the hospital as soon as possible, please. Can you get her for us? Doctor, thank you. I, I need to rush to her house now to find out why she left the hospital. Thank you. Grandma. Grandma, how could you just leave the hospital like that? How could you just leave the hospital like that without informing anybody? You know how scared you got us. And you're putting your health at risk. The doctor said you should come back to the hospital. Grandma, the doctor said they need to keep an eye on you. Uh -uh. Grandma. Grandma, the doctor said... You know you cannot do this now. Grandma. Grandma, you know you cannot do this to me. You know you cannot do this. Grandma. Grandma. Grandma, please. Grandma, you cannot do this to me, Grandma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 